Hi, I'm Sharon Aguilar and I work with Greenstall Creations and I blog at sweetmomalife.com and this is my first sew along. I've chosen the Pacific Pullover. It released a year ago and I've always seen questions in the group about it. So I'm excited to sew this pattern with you today. Let's get started. Let's start with talking about the supplies that we're going to need. Um, first, you're going to of course need fabric and your fabric needs to have good four way stretch at least 50% in both directions and some nice recovery. You can use Subplex, you can use Ponte, um, lots of different knits will work for this project. And I am using um, an Under Armour fleece back knit. It's a, like a navy midnight color, so I'm hoping that everything I'm doing is gonna show up really well for you. Um, so the first piece that I'm gonna show you that I cut out is the front. This has princess seams and this will be the side part. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you use you do your markings. So you're going to mark here, and I'm doing the kangaroo pocket. If you're not doing the kangaroo pocket, then you're going to want to cut this part off and only cut out this piece right here. And since I'm doing the hem band, I'm cutting straight across at the bottom. If you weren't, you would want to come up and cut across here. So that is my front side piece. My front middle piece looks like this. You cut it on the fold and it's the same thing. You're putting your markings for the upper and lower pocket. You're cutting here if you have the kangaroo pocket and you're cutting here if that if you just want to hem and not use a band. Um, this is my back piece. The only thing I'm marking on my back piece is the center back and I just like to do that to make it easier when I'm attaching the hood or the collar or the neck band. Um, and I'm doing cuffs on this one. So I cut out my cuff. You're cutting two. And then on your optional hem band, you're also cutting two. I'm doing a hem band on this one, which the only thing that is different when you're cutting out the hem band is on the bottom of the front. Um, you're gonna wanna cut on this line as opposed to here if you're just hemming. For my hood, I'm doing a hood on this one. You need your hood facing. You're cutting one and the fold line is right here. So you're cutting one on the fold. Um, and then your hood, you're cutting two as mirror images. So I've cut out my two pieces for the hood. For the hood, um, you're also, there's an optional neck facing, and this is just to cover up the seam at the back of the hood where you've attached the hood to the body. I haven't picked out the fabric I wanna use for that. I haven't decided if I wanna use a contrast or the same. Um, and then next up is my sleeve. On your sleeve, you have a two piece sleeve. So it's important that you keep all your markings straight so that you have the front at the front and the back at the back. So you're gonna mark the front and you're gonna mark the top of the sleeve and you're also gonna mark where it connects to the back of the sleeve. And when you cut it out, cut I cut on the cuff cut line because I'm gonna put cuff, but if you're not, remember to cut here if you're just hemming it. That's the front sleeve. On the back sleeve, you're just marking where it connects to the front and then you're also making sure that you're cutting where it, whether you want it hemmed or you want the optional cuffs. Okay, optional supplies, let's talk about those. I have a zipper, the pattern calls for a seven, eight, or nine inch closed bottom zipper. Well, a closed bottom zipper means that you can't open it like a jacket at the bottom. It's not a separating zipper. And it's very important on this jacket that your zipper does not separate. And if you need to, I'm gonna iron my zipper down so it's flat, um, but if you need to cut it, you can, so it's okay if your zipper is too long. And in addition to the zipper, you are going to want some grommets. And the pattern calls for just grommets. It doesn't say what kind. Um, my personal preference is the quarter inch. And whenever they're quarter inch, they're called eyelets. They're not called grommets anymore. So you'll need an eyelet press and then the eyelets to go with them. And that's just if you're doing the hood. Um, and if you don't want to do the eyelets, that's fine. You can do um, a buttonhole right there on your machine and that looks just as great. I see a lot of ready to wear hoodies with a buttonhole there. It's a lot cleaner look, you don't see the hardware. Um, so that's just a preference, whatever you have. Either way, you will need interfacing. So on the interfacing, you wanna use a woven interfacing because woven interfacing, whenever you pull it with a green line, it does not stretch. And it's gonna keep that zipper and it's gonna keep those grommets from moving, um, which is very, very important. It'll make a not wavy zipper. Um, and I've had my kids pull out grommets before, and so it means that your grommets are gonna stay in place. Um, there is also knit interfacing, which is not required, and I would, I would definitely recommend you do not use it on this pattern. I just wanted to kind of show you the difference. So if you're pulling, um, pulling out 
interfacing when you're at Joann's, you know which is which. Um, the woven, you can tell it's woven and it has the, the pebbly stuff on the back and that's the part that you're ironing onto your fabric. Um, and the knit, the knit interfacing, it has stretch so it can move with your garment, um, which is what you do not want your zipper to be doing. Okay, other supplies, you know, something to mark your fabric with, as, as well as it, you might need wonder tape. Wonder tape is just really useful um, on some of the complicated parts on this pattern. Um, okay, now let's get to sewing. 